Hi, I'm Mary. I have a website called eatdrinkandmeetmary.com that's designed to help people cook consistently healthy meals every day. It's a meal planning website. You should check it out. All of the recipes on my website are five ingredients or less. One of the new recipes I'm developing for the website is a seed crispy cracker. I don't really have a name for it yet, but it's essentially, it's a cracker that's made out of five simple ingredients. Here, I'll show it to you. It's, it's gluten-free. I'll read you the nutrition label in a minute, but it's made out of chia seeds, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, honey, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and then some water. Oh, and a pinch of salt. Water and salt don't count as ingredients. I mean, I have to be able to use those. Anyway, they're good. I've included the nutrition label so you can read it over. But essentially, for two grams, it's got 130 calories. 80 are from fat, so like most gluten-free products, it does have a lot of calories in it. So a little bit goes a long way. So actually, as an alternative cracker, it's not a bad snack. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. This is a really good gluten-free cracker. It's nice and thin, it's crispy, and you can really add any ingredients you want. You could make it spicy, you could add cinnamon, so you can play with the ingredients, but I'm gonna show you how to make this basic cracker. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna take uh, about two-thirds cup sunflower seeds, and we're just gonna chop them up a little bit more. That is really annoying, sorry. I'll cover my microphone so it's not so loud. So I'm chopping them up just enough so they're not so big so that they bind together a little bit easier. So we're gonna put those in a bowl after we chopped them up. And then I'm gonna add my my organic flax seeds. I just buy these bulk. Um, and I have a mixture of both golden flax in here and I have a, a brown flax too. I'm gonna add that. So about a quarter cup of those. Then I'm gonna add uh, a quarter cup of chia seeds. Now the chia seeds are really important because this is what actually binds the cracker together. Um, you'll notice there's no egg, egg white, so the chia seed is what does that. And the way it does that is when we add water, chia seeds swell, they're kind of like a gelatin, and they hold everything together. So we've added the chia seeds, now I'm going to add a tablespoon of honey. The trick to uh, having honey not stick to the spoon is you spray it with a cooking spray and then it just falls out. I forgot to do that. Alright, and then we need one tablespoon of uh, apple cider vinegar. I've decided to use an extra bold apple cider, cider vinegar. I've decided to use an extra bold apple cider vinegar, but uh, just... You can use really any vinegar you want. I think a flavored vinegar is a little more interesting. But that's just me. I need to wipe off my hand from the honey. Okay. Then we're going to add, well, I've got a half a cup of water here. I'm going to start off with a quarter cup and see how it looks. So I want it to be, oh, well, You see, it's sort of pasty. And I want it to have, I want there to be just a little bit of water on the bottom. So I'm gonna say, 
little bit more than a half a cup, a little bit more than a quarter of a cup, maybe a third. And then mix it together. I'll show you what that looks like. It's sort of thick, pasty. And you know, I just I'm just making this up, so you can add and subtract little bit, little amounts according to what you like. But this is what's worked for me so far. So you can see it's sort of pasty. We need should add just a couple pinches of salt. Oh, my microphone's really short, so I can't go very far. Okay, a couple pinches of salt just to balance things out. Stir that up. Okay, so that's our cracker. That's our cracker, right? Now comes now comes the fun part. So you get a cookie sheet, little cookie sheet. I've got one here, and you you need uh, parchment paper because the stuff is really sticky. You need to spray the partridge paper with cooking spray. Be generous with cooking spray. We don't want the parchment paper on the top to stick to the seeds. So spray the second piece as well. I'm gonna take the seeds and I'm gonna put it on the cookie sheet. See, all right. And just kind of lump it on there. Now I'm going to spread it around just enough that it for kind of forms the shape of the pan. So it's a little bit of a rectangle. So it's going to look like that. All right, that's step one, but it's still really thick. And we want it to be nice and thin. Now we're gonna take that second piece of parchment paper, the side that's been sprayed with cooking spray, and we're gonna place that on top. Place it on top, just like that. So you can kind of see through the paper. Next, we're gonna take a rolling pin. If you don't have, I have a little rolling pin. If you don't have one, you can always use the side of a glass, a flat glass. And we're gonna, we're gonna roll this out so that it's nice and thin. We're gonna go all the way to the edges. And you can feel it move underneath the rolling pin. It's super fun. I need to get out more. <laughs> okay, so you can see I've rolled it out. Now I'm gonna take the parchment paper back and the couple seeds stick, but it's not too bad. And as you can see, it's not, whoa, oh, I almost lost that. I, I did. I so now you can see it's nice and flat. Maybe you can't see it, but I promise, promise you. It's nice and flat, it's nice and thin, and that's what you want. Guess how long you have to cook this. It takes about an hour and a half to two hours at a low temperature, at 250. Now, it really depends on how crispy you want them. Some, like, this cracker has got a nice caramel color. These were in for almost two hours, and look at how thin they are. I also made a batch where I cooked these for two and a half hours, but look at how thick they are. I like the thinner crackers a lot better. So the thinner you can roll it, the better. Believe me, the chia seeds will hold it together. Now they'll be delicate, but you can definitely break them apart and use them as a cracker. Well, thanks. Again, check out my website, eatdrinkandmeatmary.com. And I'll see you soon. Keep cooking.